Today we'll be building an autofocus calibrator. Everything required you will see down below in this picture. Feel free to pause and take a look. And the PDF file will also be available. If you want to see how to use it, just check the next video and we'll take you step by step. So what you see here is the finished product, which we'll make out of a simple box. To make sure that the box is big enough to fit the graphic on one of the sides and line it up with the corner. Once you have it positioned, trace everything out. And once that's done, you can start cutting. Make sure to leave a full corner on one side. To do that, cut diagonally towards the bottom to leave a foundation on the back of it. That'll be your base. And as you can see there, you don't need to have that base very large, just enough that you can weigh it down later to take advantage of that corner to create a 90 degree angle. Once we finish cutting out our target and we have our two pieces, just make sure everything is straight and we can go ahead and start gluing it. We used a 3M adhesive spray. It was a bit more convenient and efficient for application. Really any other adhesive like a glue stick or anything you have around the house will be fine. Just be careful to make sure that everything is centered once again lines up with that corner. Smooth everything out so there's no ridges or bubbles and we can move on to the next step. Now that everything is dry, we'll need to attach a scale to the target and to do that we'll use a nail as your hinge. What you want to do is use the center line of the target that will be parallel to the nail that you mount on the back side. Once you find the positioning, make sure to leave about half of the nail exposed for your hinge, which will be about a half inch. Once the nail is aligned, just tape it into position to make it easier for yourself. We glued it down using an epoxy. Any other adhesive that will hold that nail in place will be fine. Now before it sets, just remember to make any final adjustments and then let it cure. So now that the glue is dry, we can attach the scale to the target. The trick here is to align that hinge just above the center of that scale, so about one or two lines above the zero. This way when it's on a diagonal that zero will be perfectly aligned with the center of the target. And that's really all there is as far as mounting it. The reason we left that base on the back end was to weigh the target down to take advantage of that corner. When you do that you'll have a 90 degree angle that will make your autofocus calibrator functional. Check everything with the level, as we just did. 
if for whatever reason it's off by a little bit, the cardboard corner will have enough flex in it that you can either pull it out or push it in to make those small adjustments. Here you see the final product, pretty simple. On the next video, we'll actually show you how to use this autofocus calibrator step by step. Outside from that, subscribe and leave us any questions or comments below. See you soon, stay crafty.